It was a house. We were seated next to a house made of cheesecake. Right. You're grabbing, I wanted to know about you're it. You're grabbing other people's waitresses and asking for mayonnaise. You yes. Know, you're like, I'm I saying, get a condiment from everyone on the floor. Sure. But, you know, I it, keep people going. It, keep them up. Keep them going. Hey, you got gravy? Wake up. Boom. It adds to the confusion is my point. I, I do bring in a lot of chaos. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. But in that chaos, we find our true meaning. Sure. Yeah. You know, and uh, Peterson, Jordan Peterson, not me, folks. He's a good man. Uh, um, he's fine. He's no, he's a good man. Yeah, I don't think he's a bad dude. I I don't think he's a bad dude at all. He's a little trite sometimes. What you I do? just I I am, and I did this. We're not going to go into this because I did it on the other thing. Yeah. I'm just I am sick of people who need these people. No, we've talked about hundred percent. These people that can't wipe their own ass without a book, without a chapter book. They're like, I had no idea I had to pick up the sock on my floor. Thank God that uh, these guys are around to write books telling me to be a person. The weird thing is... And, and a I lot of these people are from, like, kind of cushy, suburban... Right. Th you know, existences. The weird, where like, the weird thing with this guy is he seems to be about hierarchies and people falling to the wayside because they couldn't cut it. Right. And, like, you know, it's legitimate. Like, all right. But then he's trying to, like, coddle these, like, like these fucking 24-year-old men into, like, yeah, like, brush your teeth. And, like, you know, don't well, put your dick in the fucking... Well, I think it's what he's trying wonder. to do is laudable. But the people... I just get... I, I know that people need shit right. every now and then to, get, you know... But the Gary V, the Peterson, the Vanier Chuck, like all of that stuff to me is becomes like when you read it on the page, you go, a lot of this is nonsense. People used to be inspired. And look, you can say Lawrence of Arabia, you know, T.E. Lawrence was like, a, he raped a civilization, right. whatever. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. We don't have time, for He used yeah. to be inspired by people who took risks and went out there and like, right. and just, oh, this guy had a crazy life. I want to live like that. Yeah. And now it's like some guy who's telling you, you know, maybe you should try eating some steak. And it's like, yeah. Well, the other thing is like, there's no honesty. The problem is the lack of honesty in society, right? right? Here's like, people... People that take the route that I've taken, someone has to tell them early on, you're not going to have a good life. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not going to happen. Like, yeah. it, the chances that you are going to have a fulfill, like, you're going to do the thing you want, which is great, but you're not going to have this Disney experience that, that you think you're going to have or that you see other people having. And the weird thing is these people were happy at one point to be bent over in a coal mine. Right. Like that was a good life to them. Just yeah. Like, just dying of soot. Well, part of part of my problem with this new ethos of finding meaning, people don't need meaning. Right. People need fucking things to do. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, the idea that everybody's going to be a fully actualized human being is insane. They don't need meaning. In fact, most people I think are better off kind of staying at surface level. Right. Staying, I like potato salad. <laughs> I like pussy. I should work so that I can have a supply of those things.